Now the dog collar comes with its instructions and uh, they're pretty good instructions but I stink at reading them so I did a whole lot of messing around and figuring it out. Of course always if you have a short haired animal use the short studs, long haired animal use the long studs. It was so easy you just screw those in. Um, here is where you charge it and here's where you turn it on. Uh, the buckle just winds right through and I have to tell you I'm going to replace this. I'm going to find a dog collar that will fit through here because I want something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and I also want something that doesn't curl around. So that's what I'm going to do. It's not hard. You can pick out your own collar, pick your own colors, just go to PetSmart or whatever and see what's going to fit through that little slot right there. Now, one thing I absolutely love about this is I don't ever have to buy batteries. Not for this and not for this. None of those weird little round batteries, nothing. It all charges up by USB. You just and it comes with its own adapter. It comes with the adapter. It comes with the USB port. On the USB port are both chargers, so you connect. You can charge them both at the same time. And just plug that one in there. Pull up in the tab here and plug that one in there. When you're done charging it, do make sure that you plug that up really good because that's going to, you know, I mean, waterproof only works if it's all sealed up. Now waterproof is the reason I went with this because I have one that works great for her, but we do have a pool so I never let her wear it in the backyard. Um, this one I'm not nearly as worried, worried about, especially since she doesn't submerge herself. She gets into the pool, she stands up in her legs, she'll shake around, and then she'll go running around the yard. So I don't think she's ever going to submerge it, but I do want to know that I'm protected if she does suddenly jump in. This, it says that when you wake it up, you're going to hold it for five seconds. I was thinking, oh, that's going to be a bummer because by then the moment's passed. It hasn't happened for me. So far, I w turn it on and it's woken up. It's ready to go. Um... Here is the light if you're walking in the dark and need to find out where she just made her little present that you need to pick up. This is helpful to have on hand. This button is what you use to activate what you want. And that's another thing I like is I can have it preset. Do I want it on shock? Never. Not for Piper. She is too sensitive of a dog. I would not do that to her. I did it to her once with one of those automatic bark collars. Regretted it. She... Oh, now if I put one of these on, I swear I've got to film it for you. She comes down, I put her heart, her harness on, she stems on the stairs so I don't have to bend over. I put her harness on, I get her leash on, I go ahead and start to put this on. She goes up to the top of the stairs, gives me that funny look. She is scared to death of these things, but she is getting more comfortable because she knows that I'm not going to hurt her. Um, I try to make her feel very reassured. But at the same time, every time I turn it on, I do, I forgot the first time, um, make sure to turn it on. Make sure you hear that beep. As soon as she hears that beep, she is not going to misbehave. She does not attack other fences as we walk past the other dog fences. She does not uh, try to jump up on strange people. She will give a little warning growl and I'm okay with that. You know, I do want them to know that she's there if I need it, but I don't want her to be absolutely rude to people as we pass by. And that's what we're doing. We're finding that balance. And I have only had to do the vibration once and that was it. And, she's, and each dog is going to be different. Some are going to be super sensitive like mine and you will only ever need the noise to, to say, hey, look at me, stop what you're doing and look at me and that's all you'll ever need. Others, vibration. And maybe there are some that are so locked set in their path that they need a tiny little shock. But please, keep in mind, if you're not willing to do it to your own body, don't do it to theirs. And uh, dead serious, <laughs> we have at one point gone ahead and put this to our body before and shocked it back when we first started testing these things. But, you know, a low shock. It's just, again, if you're not willing to do it to yourself, don't do it to somebody else. But the vibration, it's pretty cool. It's just, it's just a little wiggle. Let's you know, hello, it's like a tickle is what it is. So that's cool. I am willing to give her a tickle all day long if it makes her stop what she's doing and look at me. That's all I need because from there on out, she's going to behave. She's a really sweet dog. So I love that for this feature. I'm not ever going to accidentally shock her. Um, it's waterproof and I never have to buy batteries. So we are doing great. Thank you very much. 
So we are finishing up our walk and it was extremely uneventful. We even passed a bunch of construction workers and she minded all her P's and Q's. And I think because I remember to turn it on, she heard the buzz, she instantly knew that she was wearing it. Now, the nice thing is once I reassured her everything was okay, on our walk she met her doggy friend, she said hello, she was her exuberant self, and yet she still remembered to go ahead and mind herself and did not let herself to go off crazy on the construction workers or stray dogs or anything like that. So she's been very good and yet it did not kill her spirit and that's what I'm looking for. Quick update, we are running home and I'm glad that this is waterproof because it is now suddenly raining. All right.